Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. All right, this video, there's been a new update with LOL Miner and it's version 1.63. And I have three examples to show you guys. Three 3070 rigs, all right, eight by 3070 rigs. And uh, I'm gonna do a comparison between LOL Miner 1.63, the new version, and then LOL Miner 1.62, and then BZ Miner. All right, I would say that notorious miner that a lot of people used for mining Caspa. And uh, it looks like we're having more efficiency with the latest version of LOL Miner. So I want to talk with you guys on uh, just showing you guys the results and how to do it in case HiveOS may not have updated it yet. So we'll go through that in a second. So before I do that, this video is sponsored by GPRisers.com. They're having a Black Friday sale up until November 29th, if you guys are interested. Black Friday is the coupon code, 25% off everything. They actually have a nice little bundle deal here for $130, you get the 12 GPU mining frame, 12 of the eight capacitor risers, 12 of the custom made white eight pin splitters, and eight of the white LED fans for 130. That's half price. There you guys go. If you guys are interested, link down below. Thank you, gprisers.com. All right, so guys, going along here, I have three RTX 3070 rigs, and they are using the exact same core clock and memlock parameters here, 1470 and 810, in the extra config arguments for LOL Miner, okay? Some of you guys may remember recently in a video for BZ Miner, the core clock, uh, core offset, and uh, memory clock function for BZ Miner. And looks like I don't think there's any core clock offset in the LOL Miner, so there is no parameter for that. Maybe I'm missing it, I'm not quite sure, but it seems to work with just the these two parameters here and uh, you just have to restart your PC and you're good to go. Now, I guess by the time you guys watch this video, LOL Miner should be available, all right, on HiveOS as an update, I'm going to assume. If not, there is the, I have linked in the description below, you can just copy and paste these uh, commands, run commands that you'll have to run in HiveOS if you're running HiveOS, that is. Okay, so this is where you just go run it in HiveOS, run command here, you paste that in. Uh, hit run and it should be good to go. All right, so this is assuming uh, the first one here, it says if you already have LOL Miner running, uh, for example, the latest version 1.62, then you just run this command. If you are not running LOL Miner, then you just run this command and uh, it has just basically doesn't have the stop command there to, to update to the uh, latest versions. So there you guys go. This info is all in the description below if you're interested. But I think by the time you guys watch this video, HiveOS should already have an update uh, to it natively in HiveOS. Okay, so let's go through my three 3070 rigs. They're identical in a way that they're all 3070s, but of course there's gonna be silicon lottery. But I want to show you guys here first the efficiency amongst the three GPU rigs here in terms of efficiency, okay? I can get the total wattage uh, system total at the wall, okay, with OctoMiner rigs. These are all in OctoMiners, so eight 3070s. And you can see here that LOL Miner is a little bit more efficient here across the board than LOL Miner 1.62, okay? So it looks like we've garnered definitely a bit more hash rate going from 1.62 to 1.63. And then you can see using BZ Miner that uh, the efficiency here, 5.3 versus 5.5 or 5.52, it's not as great, right, than using LOL Miner. So it looks like LOL Miner is definitely much better, and I'm using the same parameters, like I said, uh, for all of the, the flight sheets, all right? So that's what I talked about here, okay? CC LK 1470 uh, dash dash MC LK 810, and this is for LOL Miner. If you choose to use BZ Miner, I do have a video set on my homepage. You can watch that video as well. But anyways, now let's show you the results here, okay? So looking at... Uh, this rig here, the 3070 rig, this is the one that's on LOL Miner uh, 1.63, right? So this rig has taken about 700 watts, right? With the Octa Miners, uh, they show the true power because these are integrated into HiveOS and they have a, a little feature there in their, their redundant power supply method where you can see here both of the HP server PSUs here, 382, uh, 318 watts, a total of 700 watts roughly. But you can see each of the GPUs, 485 mega hash at about 63, 62, 69, silicon lottery. So around that power consumption for LOL Miner, uh, 1.63. Now, go into here, 
you can see my results. Uh, I haven't had any glitches or anything as of yet. There have been some reports. I've been talking with some people that uh, LOL Miner seems to be crashing with them. I personally have not had that result yet, uh, yet, but only I've only had this running for about 38 minutes so far. Uh, mining K Heavy Hash, Caspa. So it's looking to be pretty good. The efficiency here, 7.7, 7.9, 7.6. And now if we go to my other 3070 rig, mining LOL Miner uh, 1.62, right? The previous version, you can see here the efficiency is, is a little bit lower across the board, right? And also the hash rate is... 468 467 versus 485 for lol miner 1.63 right okay so now the next comparison i want to do here is using bz miner all right so this is another 3070 rig bz miner and uh, actually it's right here uh, so you can see now we're getting 440 all right on this rig bz miner 12.1.1 and so yeah we're getting lower hash rate versus using lol miner for the other two rigs here and uh, also the efficiency is a little bit lower across the board, right? A little bit lower below seven, right? Mega hash per watt, all right? 6.4, 7.24. It's just definitely lower across the board than uh, my other two uh, rigs on LOL Miner. Okay, guys, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let me know if you guys are using the latest version here, LOL Miner. Uh, it seems to be eking out a little bit more you know, efficiency, this, that is great, right, amongst, I would say, all GPUs. And LOL Miner says here, significantly improved the Caspa-only mining efficiency over in NVIDIA Turing, Ampere, and ADA GPUs by 7 to 11%, depending on the actual model. So I'm assuming with, like, yeah, all the GPUs all across the board are probably going to be a little bit more efficient. And yeah, actually, if we do now a, let's just do a profitability test here. So if I do... K heavy hash at about 700 watts, okay, for that 3070 rig on LOL Miner 1.63. At my cost per kilowatt hour, that means that this rig is dollar making a dollar 61 after electric a day. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's nothing really, but hey, it's something, right? 61 cents at my kilowatt hour. Now, if I went up to like, let's say 12, let's go 12. Let's see here. Now, okay, 12 cents would be, I would be negative six uh, cents. Uh, let's go, I don't know, 20 cents. Maybe some people have that. And, you know, if you needed some heat anyway, maybe, you know, instead of running baseboards, <laughs> like in the video yesterday, you guys just saw minus $1.40. Ooh, that is, that's a little bit rough. Okay, so yeah, I guess depending on your electrical cost, uh, if you're mining Casper or not, then you're going to be uh, profitable. Now, though... I don't know many people who are mining, you know, something like Caspa or some other coins for profitability. Like, does it even matter because, you know, prices change all the time? Are you actually, you know, selling that 267 Caspa for, I don't know, BTC or whatever the exchange that Caspa's on every single day? I mean, if you're mining to the exchange, probably Trade Ogre, I, I feel like some people would do that but i just don't know anybody personally that does that if you guys do that let me know because as we're looking at profitability every day that assumes that you're selling every day so i mean like for me for instance if i were to do it you know at eight cents uh for this rig i would be i guess 60 or 59 cents right it would it, that's how much i would get plus more uh, potentially I mean, Trade Ogre has like a fee. And if you decide to withdraw from the exchange or whatever, whoever, like Trade Ogre, for instance, is there going to be a fee from that? So maybe that 60 cents is going to be gone to the fees anyway, rather than if someone were to say, why don't you just buy the coin? You know what? I personally like mining. And with these types of coins, like, I don't know, maybe Caspa has future potential to go up even more in price, right? But that's the risk that we're all willing to take. And we're spending electric, uh, we're paying for our electrical bill out of pocket. So looking at what to mine here, I mean, yeah, profitability, it just, uh, I hate saying that word now because it's just only if you're selling every day. And if the coins that you just mined for that day, if you don't sell it, then the next couple of days later, the price goes down, then all the effort you put into mining those coins are are gone. It's just, okay, well, there you go. I should have maybe bought it instead or maybe the other way around, right? That's what we're all hoping for long-term uh, for something like, I don't know, all the coins that people are mining right now, Caspa. So I think it's great. You know, we're finding out these new efficiencies for mining Caspa because it is the most profitable coin. But at the end of the day, if you were to go and look at your other GPUs for mining, I don't know, like, could you think about what other coins that... 
Maybe you could yield more and then think about the long-term potential of those coins going up much more than what you bought it for or mined it for, right? That's that's basically what all of us are doing right now. That Those that are still mining, including myself, and I know you guys watching are still mining, we are all hoping for when Bitcoin goes to the next cycle, right? The next price appreciation. I think that's all we're hoping for. And then when that happens, then a lot of these, maybe some, well, not a lot, because there could be some of these coins that don't don't go up in price like Flux, for instance, or I don't know, Firo or Ergo, right? Or Neoxa, Meowcoin, all these notable ones that we've all been talking about recently. There's a chance that these coins don't even go up in price in the next bull run. You know, that has happened in like 2018 and then 2021. A lot of those coins didn't even, didn't really bother to go up at all. So, you know, who knows? We're all just gambling right now, mining Caspa for those that are hodling it. Who knows, right? We just don't know. Caspa seems to have the great fundamentals. Anyways, guys, let me know if uh, LOL Miner worked better for you or not. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out.